Um, tell me why you decided to do a family film. Uh, it decided for me. I could not do this film. It's yeah. Muppets. I, I mean, I'm a Muppet fan from the day age of five, and I watched the show every year for like six years. So it was a thing that was really much part of my childhood. So, right. you know, I just come off doing Fly the Concord on HBO, which is a musical comedy. And then there's a thing I absolutely love, uh, which is also musical comedy. And so I couldn't not do this. So it chose me, really. Who is your favorite Muppet? <laughs> I like, I obviously I like the, I mean I like Piggy and Gonzo and, and Kermit, but for me, the strength of the Muppets show was the fact that the guys who weren't in it very often were also really funny. Mm -hmm. And there's one guy called Bobby Benson, who is the band leader of a band of babies, you might not know him. Anyway, but anyway, he is this weird character, sunglasses on, really seedy, and the babies he manages are these really creepy babies. <laughs> they, you know, any other show would be this kind of like really sweet, cute babies, but Muppet show, they're like, Chilling. They're terrifying, weird, like <laughs> dangerous babies. They're amazing. That's my favorite character. Okay. That's <laughs> Obscure. Odd one. I know, yeah. I know. I know. I know. <laughs> what morals do you hope families get from the Muppets? Oh well, I, the the film really for me is about the idea that there's a Muppet philosophy, which is kind of like about optimism, about seeing the best in people, and about trying to work together. You know, in a sort of, you know, optimistic, uh, kind of light-hearted kind of belief and faith in the future that like things are going to be okay, sort mm -hmm. of thing. And I think that. Uh, the movie has a very clear moment where Tex, Tex Richmond, Chris Cooper, stands up and says, "You guys are you're not relevant. You're, the, the world's moved on. You know, the, it's a, you know, the world is a cynical place. You're not, you're not, you're not a part of that." Mm -hmm. And for me, the answer the movie gives is that it is important this thing exists in our life. That Muppets, the, the Muppet philosophy, still exists today and it's still alive yeah. and working today. And that's the thing. People want hope, especially during the time right now. Of course, we're in. of course, you do. And I think that you know, I've got kids, and I want them to be innocent as long as possible. Yeah. <laughs> and that's part about having this hope and not having the world bash you down too uh -huh. early. And the Muppets have optimism, which is a great thing. And I think we should all be more optimistic. Yeah, they're also like the clean Muppets, and yeah, these dirty you... Muppets are trying to get in the yeah, scene. Yeah, well, the, the, the Muppets are basically making cash for the Muppet legacy. <laughs> yeah. So they're not they're not great guys, but they represent the kind of bad side to the world in terms of like obsession with well wealth and status and things that aren't that important, you know. And the, the Muppets are much more true to what we should be thinking about, which mm -hmm. is nice. And I hope that's what we'll take from the movie. Do you think that this will spur on another successful season for the Muppets? Uh, who knows? Maybe. I mean, there's no reason why not. They're brilliant. I mean, my kids love them. My kids didn't know the Muppets were two years ago, and now they love them. So it yeah. seems a, a natural thing to do, but, you know, who knows? Well, I loved it. It Thank was you fun. Very much. It was really entertaining. That's so very kind. Good Thank work. You. Thank you very much.